Inflation has cooled to just around 3 percent, a level some suggest may be the new normal. So is it time for the bank to reset its target and relax about inflation at this level? Tiff Macklem is governor of the Bank of Canada. Yes, th there is a time to review the target. Uh, the time is not right now. Uh, you know, you don't change the target because you missed it. Uh, if you change the target just because it's, it's tough, you don't really have a target. Uh, and I think the target anchors the whole system, and I do believe the economy works better at 2% inflation. But one of the strengths of our system is we do review our target every five years. Uh, and you know, we've been doing that really since, since the beginning. Um, you know, we've reviewed whether the target should be lower, should it be higher. Um, there have been a number of other questions. Should, it be, should we target something different? Um, and you know, as we get 2026 is, is the next renewal, and as we lead up to 2026, I think it will be important to ask those types of questions. What should the target be? Uh, what should, you know, what should, you know, how should it be expressed? Um, I, I will say, you know, there, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, well, yes, okay, maybe 2% was, was good for the last 25 years, but, you know, looking forward, uh, you know, we're not going to have globalization the way we had it in the past. Uh, it may have deglobalization. Uh, supply chains are, are need to be more resilient. They're shifting. Uh, trade is narrowing. There's more focus on security than efficiency. All those things are going to add costs. Shouldn't we raise the inflation target? Well, we need, we need to take a hard look at that question, mm -hmm. but it is not obvious to me that we should raise it. Because let me put it to you this way. Those, you know, those are real things. Those are happening. Climate change is happening. That's probably going to add costs. Supply chains are shifting. That's going to add cost. But we have, we're going to have to adjust to those things. How is adding some more inflation and creating more volatility in inflation, how's that going to make that adjustment any easier? I think it's going to make it harder. But I have an open mind. Uh, let's, let, let's do the analysis. Uh, I do think that's a strength of our system. Is there one little silver lining of all of this that Canadians have respect for inflation again. There's a whole generation that had never seen it, had really only ever seen low borrowing costs. Now we're reminded that these things can go another way. Yes, you know, you, you mentioned earlier that uh, there's a lot more attention to the Bank of Canada than normal. And, and we see this in our own surveys. There's a lot more Canadians know that we have a 2% inflation target. A lot more Canadians uh, are aware that inflation is painful. Mm -hmm. um, that's not a good thing, but maybe in the future uh, that will mean that monetary policy can work a bit better uh, because more people understand it. And we do know that the more people understand it, the better it works. And you, one of the things you're doing is committing to even more transparency. You will do more press conferences, you will be clearer. Do you, that's, obviously that adds some complexity to your world and it creates more political pressure, no doubt. But you think it's worth it to keep Canadians fully apprised of the thinking at the Bank of Canada. I do think it's worth it. And in fact, if you, if you look at uh, my speeches as governor, the second speech I gave was about communication and the importance to do a better job listening to Canadians, doing a better job commuting, communicating to Canadians where they want to get their information. Um, you know, we've historically been very good at communicating with markets, with economists, with the business community, uh, but there's a lot more to this country. Uh, and uh, you know, we work for Canadians, and, and we have a responsibility to explain what we do to Canadians. And the more, the more, what we see is the more people understand what we do, the more they tend to trust. Uh, they tend to trust in the Bank of Canada, and then the better monetary policy works. So there's something in it for us too. You've said trust is paramount here. Trust is paramount. We need to leave it there. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. We've been talking with Tiff Macklem, Governor of the Bank of Canada, and that's taking stock for this week. I'm Amanda Lang. Thanks for being with us.